Well, hi guys, welcome back. Today's video is based on a post I did for a poll on my community tab, and you guys overwhelmingly voted for this video. And it's another wall art DIY, and I'm really excited about the way it turned out. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I needed this color for my bedroom, so I am really excited. Thank you guys all for taking the time to vote and comment for that poll in the community tab. That was my first time, and that was really nice of you guys. So I'm going to go through a step-by-step -step of how I created this and I hope you guys like it. <laughs> so you're gonna need a canvas I got from the Hobby Lobby 50% off or 40% with a coupon. Some paint, I will put all of the items I use in the description bar below. Some crushed glass from Ashlands that I absolutely love to use for these and glitter. Any colors that you choose are based on what your colors for your decor in your home are for. These are the, ch the colors that I chose because it's for my bedroom. So we're gonna get into how we're gonna create this but the main thing is the epoxy and I'll put that in the description bar below also. So we're gonna go ahead and start getting painting and basically I used a really pretty teal blue color. This is the color for my bedroom and I used a sponge brush for some of it and I used a regular brush a little later on. It doesn't matter, whatever you're comfortable with. I just wanted mine really thick and um, how you paint is all relative, just get going. <laughs> so much fun crafting. So I went ahead and painted this out and then I went in with some uh, metallic black paint and mixed it with that same color blue because I did want to um, just blend it out with the gradation that I usually do when you're smoothing it out and blending for color transition. But then today I just wanted to break the rules so instead of doing that I left a line of demarcation as you can clearly see and I went ahead and started applying the silver to the top. And that's just a regular silver, silver metallic paint also. And I'm going to put that in the description bar below also if you're interested even though I know you can use you know whatever colors you want. And I just went ahead and let it dry down. You can see where I left the line of demarcation. And we're going to go ahead and blend our epoxy. So all you need is equal parts for both of these. You're going to put it in um, whatever container. I use um, silicone because I do resin art. So, But you can use any container. Just make sure that you mix it really well. Then you're going to go ahead and pour it out in a horizontal position. Or if you want, you can do it however you want to do it based on your, you know, your DIY. But basically I put it in, I poured it out horizontally and then I went back and I just vertically pushed it out a little bit. And I'm basically going to be putting it or blending it out where I want to apply my glitter and my crushed glass later on. And that's basically what you do. And I know it looks like I'm going really fast because trust me guys, once the paint dries, it's a really quick process. Now I'm gonna take my crushed glass. I wanted to show you what it looks like. It's a little bit different color than before. I ordered this online. I didn't pick it up in the store. I'm used to it being a little bit chunkier, so I'm just going to add more. But how much you add is based on your preference. I am going to start putting it thicker in the middle and then blending it out and making it thinner on the edges. And that's basically it. And it's really that simple. Love this process. And I'm just going to repeat that process all the way down the canvas. Now I'm going to add in my other glitters. This one is a nice holographic glitter that I'm going to be using for the side where I have that really, really pretty teal. And this I'm going to blend in the middle. This is actually Recollections and it's like um, a glitter glass. I'll put that in the description bar below also. And I'm just going to add that in the middle and blend that out. And I just want to give you guys a close-up and now I'm just going to go in with the really fine glitter and put that on the silver side just to make that really pop. Now once you get the amount of glitter or you get it where you want it to look the way you want it to look, you're going to go ahead and you're going to let it dry. But this is what it looks like when it's wet so I wanted you guys to see how 
um, I had mine looking and basically that's what I want to look like and this is the next day now I'm so sorry guys I forgot to show you when I actually shook off the glitter and the excess crushed glass but it wasn't much you didn't miss anything but it looks absolutely fabulous and I love the way this looks especially with all of that chunky chunky crushed glass and I styled it in my bedroom I had an empty space in my bedroom that was above my TV it's like an awkward spot where one side is a large walk-in closet and then the other side is an ensuite so I needed something for that wall so I'm really happy with the way this turned out but yeah if you guys like this DIY I would love for you to join and be a part of my family by subscribing also hitting the bell notifications so that way you'll know when I go ahead and upload more great DIYs like this one and don't forget to like because likes, thumbs up really helps out our channels. And guys, don't forget to go ahead and comment below and let me know how you feel about this DIY. Keep your head up. Keep it moving. Stay positive. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day.